I'm attorney Frank Azar, and I've been helping people injured in slip and fall accidents for over 29 years. Every year when the weather starts to turn cold and we get a little snow and ice, I'm asked by my friends and clients about who's responsible for injuries caused by a slip and fall. Well, you might think these accidents are minor things. Our experience is just that they aren't. In the exact same location, a 20-year-old might slip and fall and scrape their hand. A 60-year-old person could fall and break a hip. That type of injury could lead to financial disaster and dramatic changes in mobility and the quality of life of the person that was injured. The reality is that slip and fall accidents can happen during any time of the year and can be equally dangerous. The law regarding liability for dangerous conditions is that a property owner or person in control of the property is responsible in different ways. The reasons why you might be on someone else's property can be broken down into three classes. First, you could be an invitee. You're an invitee if you were invited onto someone else's property for their benefit. One example would be you entering property for business reasons, such as going shopping or into a restaurant. To recover for your injuries as an invitee, you would have to prove that they had reasonably failed to protect against the danger or harm that they actually knew about or should have known about. You could be categorized as a licensee. You're a licensee when you've been invited to enter someone else's property for a reason other than a business purpose, like when you're a guest in another person's home. A licensee can recover for their injuries by proving that the property owner unreasonably failed to exercise reasonable care regarding a danger that they created and they knew about and failed to warn you about, or when they failed to warn of dangers that are not ordinarily present on the property and that they actually knew about. Finally, you could be a trespasser. This means that you were on someone else's property for your own purpose and without an invitation of any kind. A trespasser typically can't recover for their injuries unless the property owner willfully or deliberately caused the trespasser's injuries. I recommend that you immediately take pictures of the dangerous condition. Without that evidence, it can be very hard to prove your claim.